What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, blast to the past. Today I will be showing you how to jailbreak iOS 11 using the newly released official Electra jailbreak. So this is thanks to Coolstar and everybody else that made this jailbreak possible. It's absolutely uh, crazy that we've gotten to this point where an iPhone 10 on one of the latest firmwares is jailbreakable. Now, of course, this doesn't pertain to everybody's device. You have to be on a specific firmware and that would be iOS 11.1.2 or earlier and there is very good news for devices on iOS 11.2 to 11.2.2. I'm gonna talk about the jailbreak update in just a little bit. So in this video, I wanted to show you real quick how to run the jailbreak, get it working. And by the way, I didn't make this video earlier because everybody was having issues. Now that they've all been ironed out, I can go ahead and do this with a clear conscience without knowing that somebody's device might get screwed up. Of course, always there is a little bit of risk with doing stuff like this, so do take that into consideration, but I've done it and uh, it has worked perfectly, honestly. I'll also be showing you how to run a bunch of my favorite tweaks and which ones those are basically everything you can install from Cydia right now. So um, yeah, let's go ahead and do this guys. How to jailbreak iOS 11.1.2 and earlier versions on any device basically. Okay guys, so I've got a fresh device here and it is on iOS 11.1. So do verify that in the settings you're on iOS 11.1.2 or earlier, it could be iOS 11.0, 11.0.2, you know, in between, as long as it's in between 11.0 and 11.1.2, and this is the newest iPhone 8, but again, it doesn't matter which device you have, it does work on any of them running iOS 11 right now, whether it's an iPad, iPod Touch, or the new iPhones. So go ahead and plug your device in to the computer, and then go ahead and uh, trust it if it isn't already. And you guys will wanna download two things, the actual Electra jailbreak and Cydia Impactor, whether it's for Windows or Mac, doesn't really matter. Go ahead and open it, and this is what you should see. Just go ahead and drag Electra on top over here, and you wanna go ahead and log in using your Apple ID. You don't have to have a membership with Apple uh, regarding the developer membership, it can be any, all right? And there it goes. So uh, this jailbreak is pretty easy in terms of past jailbreaks. I mean, this one is a simple install, and it installs an Electra application right here. Go ahead and run the jailbreak, and again, considering you are on any of these firmwares between 11.0 and 11.1.2, it will work perfectly. It actually worked the first time for me, but if it doesn't, you can always uh, restart it, retry it. Now, some people may not be able to install it because you have T.O. Panga, the earlier jailbreak installed. And if you guys have any sort of issues with T.O. Panga, I'll leave a link down below in the description to something that will fix it. So. Um, there it goes, it'll respring your device, and in just a moment here, it will restart, and I'll have Cydia on my device, whoops. All right, and there it is, Cydia on iOS 11.1. Now, yours will not look like mine on my iPhone 10. As you can see, it's a full screen orientation. I actually installed a tweak uh, to get that working, so I'll mention what it is in just a second here. But you guys will want to go ahead and upgrade the essential upgrades. You don't have to worry about the APT issue because that's been patched, and if you guys don't even know what that is, then you don't even need to know. Basically, the reason why I didn't make this video yesterday. Anyways, Cydia will force close. Go ahead and uh, begin using it. Now you can go ahead and, and uh, add your own sources, your tweaks, and if you guys are lost on tweaks, I'll uh, go ahead and share with you some of my favorites that I installed right away on my iPhone 10, and I've been loving the experience. All right, and to the fun part, to the tweaks. Now you get to customize your device in any manner that you wish. No longer do you have to wait for Apple to update and add features. You can do that right now, whatever you want. So the first thing I wanna share with you, and actually let me disable night mode real quick, is no more small apps. The reason that Cydia is looking like this, working in full screen mode, is because of this tweak. Previously, this is what it looks like here, basically cropped and cut off because it has not been optimized and updated for the iPhone 10 display. Even though Sarik did say that that update is coming, we don't have it just yet. So no more small apps, basically patches any app that hasn't been updated for the screen of the iPhone 10 and expands and makes it work with that display. And this is actually a godsend for a lot of those older apps in the App Store which have not been updated yet for whatever reason. Okay, and this is a super cool one. It borrows a feature from the iPads. It's called Force in Picture and it allows you to get picture in picture mode on the iPhone. So as you can see, you can operate your phone normally while having this picture in picture display down here on the bottom, which you can move around, you can hide it temporarily and then pull out over here. You can you know drop it up top expand it however you want and then do your thing which is actually so cool i love this feature wish it was included with ios 11 as is and it definitely works so well and this is a very simple yet clean and elegant one it's called hide labels 10 
It hasn't officially been updated for iOS 11, but still works perfectly and basically removes all of the app icon labels from the apps and matches the apps to the dock, the stock standard look in iOS 11. It looks really clean, works very well. And it's such a simple one, you know, why not? You used to be able to do it without a jailbreak, but you can't anymore, which sucks because it actually looks right at home on the iPhone 10, so clean. And a feature once exclusive to the iPhone Plus models now you can get on the iPhone 10 and all other devices, and this is with auto rotate, basically gives you the option to rotate your home screen, and uh, you can do it in iOS 11 style where the icons just rotate on the side here in the dock. There's several different kinds you can choose from, which is really cool. It works very well, and I think it works very well, especially with the hidden labels function. And I think this one is an absolute must. It's called BioProtect, and allows you to lock certain applications, folders, even functions on your phone from prying eyes, which is awesome because if you like to share your phone, but don't want people to have access into certain things, this is the tweak for you. So let me look at it really quick. I'm so far away here. There we go. All right, so that way I just jumped into the photos application, which I had previously locked. And now when you exit it and try and go back in, it basically is locked. It's very, very safe. And the actual settings for it, which are also locked, you have a lot of flexibility and options in here. As you can see, you can do a lot of settings, not just applications. There's so much in here. Definitely a must have. All right, so next up is Nude Keys. This is one of my favorites. It allows you to customize your actual keyboard with a gradient, so you can choose two colors, one for the bottom, one for the top, and it blends them, gives it this really, really cool effect. And you know, when you click on it, the color effect continues. It's so awesome. And there's a lot of customization here involved. So the possibilities are endless. And this plus haptic keyboard completely transforms the keyboard experience. It actually feels like you're typing on physical keys. So activating the Taptic Engine during keyboard typing is actually a really great idea. So I really like those in combination, completely transform the experience. And by the way, it will not shift your keyboard down like this. I'm actually experiencing a glitch I'm still trying to fix. So your keyboard will still remain in the same orientation on the iPhone 10. Oh, and look closely at the cursor, how smoothly it moves. And when you uh, delete text, this is actually the cursor taken from Microsoft that they use in certain applications and brought over it's called Smooth Cursor, actually one of my favorites, just a really nice refinement to the way you type. And one of my biggest complaints about the stock camera application is that unlike in Snapchat, you can't just double tap on the viewfinder here and swap the orientation front to rear cameras. Now with tap, tap, flip, you can. This is definitely not a new tweak, but it still works perfectly on iOS 11. And it's one of my stable, you know, most favorite to jailbreak tweaks. And transform the desolate bleak wasteland that is the menu system on iOS into something more pleasing to your eyes. Right now it's completely white. You know, it's just not very easy on the eyes in the dark, but Eclipse 10 gives you a true dark mode. So I'm gonna go ahead and enable that. And any application that you choose, you can actually use in this dark mode that takes advantage of the organic LED display, or even on devices that don't have it, it'll still be so much more pleasant to use your device. Now jumping into settings, look at that. Look at how much better that is. Going into messages, much, much easier on the eyes. And this actually transforms every application unless you specifically ask it not to inside of the Eclipse 10 settings. Also, this is circle icons, one of those little pleasing tweaks that I just like to use. Basically just gives you circle icons on your settings tabs. And just one more bonus, this is called Bye Bye HUD, and mine is kind of funky looking right now uh, because of a glitch, but basically gives you the volume HUD little icon up there in the top left. And again, I'm experiencing glitches on mine, so yours is gonna look proper, but you know, basically change the volume without the volume HUD obstructing your entire vision in the middle of your display. All right, guys, there it is. That is how to jailbreak your device on iOS 11 on compatible firmwares and those tweaks I wanted to share with you. Now I wanted to give other users some hope on iOS 11.2 to iOS 11.2.2 if you stayed on those firmwares, as Imperium has published their exploit, as promised, that will allow you to jailbreak on those firmwares. It's just one piece of several that's needed, but still it's a very big chunk. So within the next few months, there could be another jailbreak for iOS 11.2 to 11.2.2. In any case, thanks for watching guys. Hope this video did help you jailbreak and stay tuned for any and all updates. Peace.